Welcome back gamers. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to master Bloodhound as quick as possible so you win every single game. Let's get into it. Just so you know, the background is I've played this game for eight seasons. We have hit masters in the last five, and for the most part, the first four or five seasons, we only played Bloodhound. We mainly play solo queue, and in my opinion, this is the S tier number one legend if you're solo queuing and ranked. We have right around 5,800 kills with him. We've got most of our master badges around him, and let me tell you what, he's a real, real big playmaker, baby. Real quick breakdown of his abilities. His passive is tracker. This leaves back tracks from over 90 seconds. This can be either someone was rezzed, shots fired, someone landed. It can also be for abilities from the other legend enemies. So again, this is just letting you know last place someone was seen and you can track these if you're close enough. His tactical eye of the Allfather is a cone scan in front of him at up to 125 meters. It'll highlight anybody within 75. That HUD lasts for one second and tracks them. There will also be white ravens that appear on the map when no one's near you. When you scan these, it'll refund your tactical and reduce your ultimate by 25%. This white raven will automatically track the closest team near you. Great thing to note on this thing is if you use this thing very close to the start zone, usually before the first fight, you may potentially already have your ultimate ready to go. Don't want to make his ultimate too challenging for you, but just know you will enter the beast of the hunt. It lasts 30 seconds. Downing an opponent will add 5 to 15 seconds. Also, you will increase your foot speed by 30%. Your vision turns black and white. The enemies are now high and red. It's basically a 30 second digi, baby. All right, let's just get into it. First tip, tip number one, the most important one, is Bloodhound has complete control of the map awareness. For those of you that play solo queue or those of you that IGL, Bloodhound is one of the number one legends for you to play because there is no way you should ever get ran up on by anybody. Pay very close attention to the mini map. They'll spark the small little circles that show you where a white raven is. You just scan this thing. You should always know either where a team is you want to push and fight or a team is where you want to avoid for the next zone. But really, really have to pay a ton of attention to these things. They can spawn literally back to back to back. There have been times where I've actually got my ultimate after just picking up one or two weapons. And so make sure you pay very close attention to this because really the bread and butter for Bloodhound is 100% in his ultimate. So clearly we want to refresh by scanning as many white ranges as possible as we either move into the zone or we move into push a team. Now remember, we said this, but Bloodhound is one of the top, top tier picks for solo queue just because you have the ability to always make sure your team does not get walked up on. They don't push in a spot where they shouldn't. So we gotta make sure we're always at the front of the line. We don't need to be in the back. We need to be up in the front. We need to always be either scanning new POIs and or scanning the White Ravens to reduce our ultimate. A thing to note about his tactical scan, unlike most legends, this is not instant. This has a global cooldown of 1.8 seconds. So make sure if you're ever scanning to get people in front of you, you are covering yourself very closely. Again, in this clip you'll see, I basically use my scan, go back through the wall, and then pop back out to shoot them. This is again, because of a global cooldown, you do not want to take any extra damage while you're standing there. So again, just be aware, you don't want to scan right in front of people that are standing there. You're gonna lose 1.8 seconds, and you're gonna probably get downed. I wanna stop right here and say thank you so much for watching these videos. Again, we've only played for eight seasons, so we're slowly going through and playing a thousand games per legend to see if we can master them. Also to give you tips and tricks that maybe you're not aware of. So far, we have covered Maggie, we've covered Newcastle, we've covered Caustic, we've covered Bangalore. We've got more of them coming. Just click that like, click the subscription, turn the notifications on, and every week you'll be notified when a new video is ready to go. Also, be sure, Write in the comments right now. I know you're watching. Drop in there. Which legend do you want to see me play? I don't care if it's a legend you think's terrible. That's fine. We're going to do it. We're going to at least let you know what's possible with that legend. Now back to Bloodhound. Again, I don't want to overcomplicate things, but his kit is very basic in the sense of the understanding the mechanics and how it works. What people don't understand is how big of a playmaker he is. As you can see in this clip, in almost all the clips I play with Bloodhound, when I run into my ultimate, my time then is to separate from the team. I do have my Octane like Stim. My basic ability is to run around this map now and shoot as many people as possible. You're going to continue changing the angles. You have this Digi-like ability, so you're the one going to make the big plays. Again, make sure when you use this ultimate, you are not standing still. You need to be running consistently, changing angles, and never really be staying in the same spot twice. Keep on moving. 
Again, a quick reminder, don't forget every bird that you scan while in your ultimate is going to still refund your next ultimate, ultimate by 25%. So if you down three people, your ultimate's gonna be up in another 25 seconds. So realistically, if you are planning to scan every bird and you're scanning and you're downing people, you should never not have your ultimate up in a team fight. Remember, you need to lead the rush every single time. There are gonna be times potentially where you go down first. You are hoping though that most of the time your intel provided will benefit your team to win the rest of that team fight. So again, be in the front, be scanning. You're the map awareness. This is a great legend, specifically if you don't use comms, except for pings. This is really still another legend that you can help win way more fights with your team. A couple other notes, this is a recon legend. We're talking about playing individually. However, just know you are a recon legend, so you can scan the beacon. This is also going to be a big, big reason why Bloodhound is a huge pick because you will always know where the enemies are. So are you in that next to final circle? Want to find that building that's free? You want to find a spot where there's not a lot of teams fighting? You can scan these beacons and you can take your team to the next zone. The jump towers have traditionally made Bloodhound even a better pick because now you don't need a Valkyrie on the team. You don't need to be near a jump tower. You can just use the picked up one off the ground and you can take off and get to that final zone. Another really advanced tip here as well is to make sure that you are scanning in the end zone POIs on the cooldown if needed. There's not gonna be a whole lot of Ravens available. They're not gonna allow Bloodhound to have his ultimate up the last eight minutes of the game. So just make sure you consistently use the scan to keep teams away from you if that's the goal. If you're trying to push and secure a new building, yes, let's make sure we scan in there. However, if you're in a building, consistently scanning outside that building in the cone in the frontal direction will help allow your team to maintain control of that building. This is one of those abilities that really, unless you're out in the open and you're in an open POI where people are not gonna see you, you really wanna be using his tactical on every single cooldown. Remember the benefit as well is since they can see you when you scan them, the best ideal goal here is once you scan, you are moved to a new angle and you're peaking that angle that you scan them at. They're going to expect you from the angle that you scan them at. They're not going to expect you peeking from another one. So just make sure you don't peek from the angle you scan at. They get that cone scan in front of them as well. They're going to know exactly where you're standing. So again, be very smart with this scan. This is the biggest, biggest part of this kit outside of this adrenaline rush you see us right here. You basically get to go Rambo for 30 seconds. If you down people, it's lasting even longer. So again, be aggressive with the scanning. It's the best tactical, in my opinion, in the entire game when it comes to solo playmaking abilities. With that being said, we put Bloodhound on the S tier for both solo queue ranked, non-ranked, if you're playing as an only individual, someone hunting kills and hunting damage. I hope these tips helped you a ton. We will see you back here next week with a brand new legend review. And I'm gonna give you a tip. It may be a big boy, the big old Gib Gib. So we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.